What's good everybody welcome back to another video so it has uh, been a very big question to me is stop D Can you please help us with some tips and tricks you know for uh, you know playing this game progressing in this game And a very big one a very one that a lot of people want to see is how to train players uh, Without buying training experience you know the cheapest way that you can do it uh, those kind of ways level up players uh, Level up your overall quickly so we're going to talk about that today We'll also be live on twitch if you are within sort of the first couple hours of this video going live We'll probably live right now twitch.com TV slash stop D will answer any questions or anything that you have um, around this as well on the stream today. So make sure you come stop by. It's also been an absolute blast. Yesterday was the craziest stream ever. Um, it was such a fun time to be a part of. So if you haven't already come and join Stop D Nation over on Twitch, um, I definitely, definitely recommend you uh, you do that. Um, but even if not, even if we're not live, you know, go get that follow so you can see every time we're live on there. Um, but basically today we're going to talk about how to train up players, the best way to sort of train up players. I've created a spreadsheet that basically looks okay what's the best you know sort of budget for players that you can go through what kind of prices would you be looking to make it you know a good training experience versus a bad training experience based on the level because as you know each different level um, has its own sort of value of training experience that goes along with it so is it better to pick up 90 overall players is it better to pick up 86 overall players um, not necessarily specific players that you should pick up we'll talk about because um, you can kind of see what sort of the the best idea with basically the players that are cheapest of that overall are probably the best ones to pick up um, but sort of just a general way of how you can look at it I'll show you sort of how we create the spreadsheet too if you want to try and create something like that on your own but anyways let's head into the game first we'll show you kind of what we're talking about about how you transfer trade out the players and those things um, if you're getting new to this game all right so if you're just getting started in FIFA mobile or if you just kind of want to you know like to, to sort of build up your knowledge on training and stuff uh, the one thing when you go you want to train up players you can train them up to a maximum of 100 overall so you can see we have Saka here he's a hundred overall so we can't train him up anymore any players that you have um, that have been trained in before so Bale for example has been trained up to 91 he carries um, some of that past uh, training experience so I could put that in but I'm not gonna be able to put anything in because all my midfielders are at a max overall um, but you can also see all the other players that don't have the coins above them so players that haven't been trained before they have their starting base value so you can see Neymar there 363,000 um, and then we got 362,000 went to 93 overall 344 to 92 329 to 91 um, 89 it drops a lot to 40 basically just under 44,000 um, 88 we have 40,000 86 35 84 31 82 28 uh, and you can see all the 82 cards there are about 28 5 um, 27 when we have 81 and then 25 for an 80 and then 4,000 um, for a 79 overall card now I will say it's possible that these will change throughout the year you know with new promos and those things um, I feel like different players last year did have different um, you know training experience and stuff like that so be careful like before you go and buy a whole bunch of players maybe take a look at what the cost on those players are if you're trying to level it up but basically we can see here on defense we also have 84 overall 31,000 87 38 um, 82 28 so you can see each of the players has a different training value once we put them into there uh, we can start to level up the cards and then you will also have to play pay the cost uh, to level that card up once they get to the next level so I don't know if this one if we have no I don't have enough uh, training ones right now to level uh, PK up fully, but it'll be like you know a couple million coins. If you want to know the training cost to actually level the player up and how much training experience you need, uh, FIFA Renders is a great place. FIFA Renders.com is a great place to look at those things um, and build that up. So that's basically where we go to look at leveling up the card. So each one of those ones we can go. Now, if we go into the market, obviously the best way to get it if you just want defense, put on just defenders. Um, and then search for the cards you want. So if we're looking to okay, say, hey, I just want to see if I can get some 90 uh, training experience, you can put the 90s in and you can go in and you can set your you know, minimum price, let's say 1.5 million. You could also try and do it in, a, in the bidding way where you go in and you uh, put the uh, buy now for the current bid at say 1.5 million and see if you can pick up any cards there. So you can see here, uh, if nobody bids on Opara between now and then, we can get him for there. Um, but now, so if you look at Opara, he's about 1.9 million. And I think actually at this point right now, that might might be about as cheap as pretty much about as cheap as you can uh, you can get that card um, so you can see there he's not going for basically less than two million so as a defender the cheapest 90 overall card that you can get is going to be 1.914 million when he came out when there's that promo and they had a bunch of them there's a whole lot more of them so he looks like he's the best card because he's worth 363,000 but there's actually cards that are better deals than that uh, based on the amount of training experience that they will provide with it because you can see that he yes he will give you 300,000 but if I go back to my team if I go back into my team here and go to level it up you'll see that Jimenez at 80 
87, or Mario Fernandez at 30, uh, 31, if you bought 10, basically just over 10 Mario Fernandez cards, you could actually get the same amount of value as Opara who cost you 2 million. And if you've been in the market recently, you've seen the Mario Fernandez, if you're really good at sniping, you could get a Mario Fernandez card for like probably 20,000. Um, so like if we go down here, we change this to an 84, for example, and we want to pick up an 84. I would want to go in and let's say I did 120,000. If I go in here, I can see that there's a bunch of cards that have just sold for under that. In fact, some of them 75, 70, 43. So this actually becomes a much better deal for leveling up my players than picking up that Apara card. Okay. So now you want to look at, okay, well, what is the amount of money that I want to spend on cards? So that's where we bring this up. Okay. So what we did, uh, you can see we got numbers on my iPhone. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting tech savvy right here. Uh, we brought up basically from 79 to 94 overall. I don't think I'd ever go above 94 overall. I don't think there's any 94 overall players that would be worth training in right now. Um, but you can see all of these cards here. This is the amount of training experience you get for. So 363,000 is the 94. That was the Neymar that we saw. And for 79, you're going to get 4,528. Beside it in this column, what I did is I took a starting point. Um, so I went down here to, to the 90 and I made the 90 the, uh, the base card that I wanted to look at. I said, this is the card that I want to kind of reference as sort of my starting point with it. And then I just went to each of the other values and I just took that value and I divided it by that 90 value, that 315,858. 31, and that gave me basically the ratio that gave me the rate of, uh, you know, between the, oh, I just, flip my screen around. Hold on, we're back. Okay. Uh, that gave me the rate that I had for there. And then what I did is I said, okay, well, let's assume that we could get that card for 1.5 million. So we know actually that's not true. First of all, what we actually got him for, it looks like he's about 1.9 million. So if I'm looking at defenders, for example, that's 190,000, 1.9 million. What would it cost me or what would be a good deal to get the other players for? So at 1.9 million, what that's basically telling me is that here, I take that ratio that I had, I take that rate that I had and I multiply it by that 1.9, that one to one ratio of the 90. And that tells me that if I spent 156,231 coins on an 80 overall player, I would actually be getting a better rate of investment. If I was to go in and I was to buy, um, you know, 1.9 million coins worth of these 80 overall players, I'd actually get a better rate. And the nice thing about the lower over players is you can spread them out more, right? You don't have to necessarily invest them if you're going to go over 100, stuff like that. So basically, if I look at this, if we go through and we look at that 84 overall card, I could have spent up to 200,000 on an 84 overall card and still be getting a better deal than that 90 overall par. So this is kind of the prices that you're sort of going to be looking at that are comparative to that 1.9 million. So basically, to get yourself 363,000 worth of training experience, um, which is what I want, or 315,000 worth of training experience, it's going to cost you um, a, a rate for each one of basically 119, um, what is it, 1.9 million. It would cost you, if you could get it for 191,000, if you get it for under 191,000, you would actually be getting a better rate. So if I got it for 100,000, I'd be getting a better rate relatively, uh, that's, a, that's a terrible way of saying it, but better relative rate um, going with that one than I would if I got this one um, at 1.9 million. So you can see this is 1.9 million here, uh, whereas I go above the top, I would have to get a 91 for under 1.98 million, which is very unlikely to happen that you'll get a 91 for that rate. So if you wanted to change that up, we could go in, we could change um, our cost up. Say we wanted to get a card and we noticed that the 90 overall card was 1 million. If it was 1 million, is that right? 1 million? That looks like 1 million. Then I would need to be looking at these values. So I would have to get an 84 for 100,000 um, if I wanted to get it for a million. So this is kind of just what we sort of set up for some different prices and different things you can do. So basically, um, that's kind of what you're looking at. So what I would say, if you're looking for some cheap players right now, if you're looking in the in the defenders, getting players, if you can get them for 84s and you can get them for under 100,000, you are definitely getting more out of that because if you take that 100,000 times it by one point uh, or divide it from the 1 million, you can buy 10 of those Packs, the 84s will eventually add up to the same amount that you would get for that 90 overall of 315,858.
Okay, so again, you can see here 31806, so just under 10. So Mario Fernandez, again, just under 10 of them we need there. So if I went in and I bought 10 of them, which is going to cost me about, uh, you know, even if I bought it for 100,000, I buy 10 of those, I buy it for a million coins. That gives me 10 Mario Fernandez cards. That's equivalent to buying one Opara card, um, which would cost me 2 million. So basically, I'm going to get double the amount of training experience. I could buy 20 Mario Fernandez cards if I could buy them for 100,000. Um, for the price of that one card that I could get for training. So if I go in here, um, I'd obviously have to get a little bit lucky because they're not really going for that much. But even if I look in here and I go and I can see it maybe at 130,000, say, if I could go for 130,000 and find some cards here and I could get on these snipes, on these ones, that would help me to level that up. So that's kind of a way you can look at that if you want to spend a lot of time going through there. Those are sort of the values that you would, that you'd be able to go with here. So if you remember, it was somewhere around 200,000 or something like that. So if I go for 200,000, 200,000, that means... Um, this would be about the exact same pretty much, but look, I got an 195, I got some 84s, I got a bunch of cards, 137s, I got some 137s I could pick up, I got some 90s, um, so lots of different cards that we can kind of pick up in here that will trade it. Um, so again, one of the big things, when new promos come out, this is usually also a great way for you to actually level up cards, because when you go into the new promos, uh, you get a bunch of cards and the prices tend, tend to drop in price as well. So we got some 85s, the 85s for 185, if we go back and look at it, 85 overall is going to get you a little bit more training experience and this in the end is going to be a better deal than it is when we look at the Opara card. So hopefully that helped you. Hopefully that kind of cleared up some things with training. Um, again, if you have any questions with any of this, make sure you come hit us up on Twitch. We're going to be streaming and answering any of the questions you got. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop D. Out.